Oh, yeah, yeah. So I will practice on that because that, the minute I did it on there, I got it, but I can't do it without it. So I will practice when my arm feels a little better. Uh huh. But <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, I think. Uh, I got cramps in my hand from doing it. I, I know, you have to stop at uh, 20 minutes in, uh, <laughs> interval. So. <laughs> Yeah, don't do it uh, too hard. I know it's just like you play music uh, or any other exercise. Uh, you need to yeah. rest the muscle. Uh, I got shaking hand when I forgot yeah, to. Me too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we got. Shaking and hurting. Yeah. So when you have that uh, problem, just stop. Um, okay. you, yeah, at least. Uh, uh, so are you okay to do uh, bamboo today? Okay. Do you you have the ebook right? Uh, this uh, oh, this. I do, but uh, I didn't print it out. Oh, you don't have to. Let me, uh, let me see. You can. Um, okay, so what we, what we can do is I can show you my book uh, over this video, and uh, or I just. Uh, um, Let's see how do you do you want to just watch me or you want to follow me? Me want. I would like to watch you and follow you. Okay. Um, I can practice on my own. Okay. Bamboo was a little bit easier for me. Okay. <coughs> um, um, yeah. Let's see what you have. Do you have the ink cake? I do. Okay. I do. Yeah. You have the paper from the. Uh, the starter kit. Right. Yeah, I got that Yeah, that's uh, that's good size. Um, yeah. Okay. Then you can use uh, one of the uh, basic brush. You can use the stiff one, or the combination one, would also work. Either. I use this one. Okay. It's big. Big. Okay. The combination one. Yeah. Okay, great. I actually find, it's very interesting, Henry, I find that I can do finer lines with the bigger one than the little one. Yeah, that, that's good, because uh, you can always use a big brush to do small stroke, but not to use a small brush to do big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I love yeah. this brush. Cool. Just, uh, just keep that. Let me see. You, you cannot see my book. Uh, let me set it up. If I don't use this keyboard, I can set up in front of me. Maybe you can... Or I can just set on, uh, on the keyboard. Will that work? Let me see if it works. Let me just see if you can see my book. You can see it? Okay, great. Oh yeah, you can see this page at least. So I I just use this page. Yeah. Okay, so that like that. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. But I think, Henry, I have trouble with the twigs. Oh okay, that's a difficult part. So let's start from the beginning. Okay, uh, I'll uh, go through this. So basically, okay, we'll yeah we'll, we'll go for we'll just follow the book quickly. If you can follow, you follow. You, otherwise, we. We'll, uh, let you practice later. So basically, I got some ink with water. I dampen the brush first, uh, completely. That's very important. So you you dampen the brush, uh, not just the, uh, you know, you have to soak it. Then you squeeze out, squeeze out extra moisture. You can you can yeah. do that. Uh, I I'll, I use a palette to store uh, some ink, so I don't have to. Um, blend my my uh, ink all, yeah. all the time. Uh, but if you do you have a bottled ink, that would be. I have the bottle. Okay. Yeah. That would. Uh, you can put uh, like uh, three drops of. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. That that will help also. So we can use this uh, ink cake for the stem. Um, maybe when you, when you use a lot of ink for the for the leaf, we can we can use we can use the bottle. Okay. Yeah, just to save time, because it, it takes time to yeah, to, to melt sure. it. Yeah, so basically, this uh, uh, 
light ink for the stain. This book doesn't tell you the tonality because the woodblock print, it, you know, they don't have the shade, the tones. Um, right, right. We use light tones for the for for the bamboo. Um, okay. Yeah. First thing I I want to show you is the. Um, the, do you know the Chinese numbers like uh, one, two, three, right? One dash, you know, two dashes, or uh, if you stack three together, it will be three. So it's, it's the, when we come to that, I'll show you. Um, so um, let me explain the first page a little bit. This says the the main stock, the main stock. Um, You have to weld the brush, you know, to, to use the brush uh, section by section. And each section has start and end, just like uh, each stroke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, notice the starting and the ending, just like uh, we write the vertical stroke or horizontal stroke. And uh, <coughs> there's a connection between the sections. So the, it should be done in one Qi, one breath, all the way. Just like you write a character. Although there, there might be, you know, 10 strokes, but uh, you have to do it continuously, as if uh, in one, one breath or okay. one, one movement. Okay, <laughs> let me do this one. We don't have to do this straight at first. I mean, just uh, do this, if, it, if the the branch, I mean, the stock is bent. You, you can change direction between sections. Okay, the each section is a straight. It says, the, "This is this no, is the point." Yeah, change. so you can turn. Uh, yeah, you may you can make turn be, be, between each each section. Each, uh, each, yeah. yeah, but but don't don't uh, don't cur yeah don't bend within the the, the one section so right. yeah okay ah! okay okay um, immediately I I want to mention this uh, starting point it's very important you start from outside the frame right. and, but not right on the corner you should you should leave the Avoid the corner, the, the corner of the paper, right? Just a little bit away from the corner is fine. So, do you load, load the brush? Okay. And uh, you can show your, if you are following me, you can show your, show me your, your table. Your stuff is in front of it. Okay. So I, I hold the brush, just like uh, the way we, we hold the um, yeah. calligraphy way. And uh, in this case, we we don't have to keep it straight. If you do, um, it's okay. You know, it's just like a perpendicular to the paper. You can also hold a little at an angle with the end of the brush <coughs> towards the direction you're going to, to move, okay? And you can you can uh, rise your your wrist a little bit away from the table. You if you if you put your hand on the table, you can only do a small a small stroke, right? So when you draw a long uh, stock of bamboo, you need to uh, you can put your elbow on the table, but uh, uh, your wrist is away uh, uh, lift above the table. So I start. The first section is just like uh, maybe one third or may, may even less of a section. I start from right outside as if I, you know, I, I just start a little bit um, to begin with. you notice there's a toss and a kick to the left. Okay. And then uh, you leave a little break between the two uh, for the joint. And then press, hide the tip, and then pull the brush at an angle to the 
right. Then pass and kick to the left. Then come back to the a little dart, and then lift a bit and then press a little bit to to indicate a little. Um, so it's not perfectly in, in the same way. It, there's a little, you know, pressing, lifting, and the pressing movement. And then a break at the top. Okay, M many Western artists uh, tend to use the side brush, which means the tip of the brush on the side. Let me imitate them, okay? You, it, this is a... Um, it's okay in, in European style, you know, maybe, but uh, not not the Chinese way. Let me just mimic what's. I know what the side is because that's how. Yeah, that, that's that's what you know. That lots of people are doing this, and this is a. Um, they think it, this is a show of power, powerful stroke, but uh, um, first of all, it's hard to keep the bamboo uh, rounded, like uh, in even width. If you use the brush um, sideways, okay. So this is, this is uh, wrong. And uh, let me do the, the correct way again. So you should hold the brush. You, you know, you can lean the brush. You can use the side, but uh, still keep the tip of the brush centered. We call this tip-centered stroke. In calligraphy, we also con conceal the, the tip, hide the tip, right? So this is the, 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 the Chinese way. You hold the brush straight and keep the brush tip in the center. You can, um, you can cheat a little bit if you, if you uh, hold the brush slant. But still, you can do this tip center, the stroke. The point it's is. It's looking back. It's not leaning to the side. Exactly. Leaning, leaning, leaning forward. Yeah. Lean, leaning forward. It, this is back against the direction, okay. right? Okay. Leaning, leaning forward. forward. Yeah, leaning forward, not uh, on the side. This is, uh, this is the wrong way. So the brush, in this case, is hold like this, right? And in, in the correct way, like uh, the brush is hold in this way, okay? So, so it could have an angle, but uh, towards the direction you move forward. So how do you get it a thicker stalk? Okay, that's a very good question. Just press and the pass. Um, like you write the Chinese uh, uh, calligraphy. If you remember the, the horizontal stroke, and you have yeah. this uh, this kind of bone stroke, we call it, and just pass. Put a dot, a dot, and a dot, right? And connect the two dots. So you 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 lift gradually and the press gradually. That that's. But you just turn the direction. So this basically, or, or you write this uh, vertical stroke the same way, right? There's a pass or, or dot, but you, you, you hide the tip um, at the beginning, you can expose the tip naturally, you just, you know, just like uh, um, on the book, it shows some, uh, uh, you know, some, some it's uh, more exposed, some, uh, you, it's just like a, um, a, 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 a circle, half circle or something. Because the con the natural con connection, you go immediately back to the next section. This is how uh, the movement. If you look at me again, you see like a, even um, before you lift the brush complete away from the paper, you press down again and uh, press and lift and press. <coughs> okay, you can leave the break with the space between the two sections. Some artists, um, especially with contemporary artists, they just, they just, um, they do this. Let me show you. You can do like a little Z, 
So it's it's just a little uh, this this kind of movement, you know. So <coughs> just a little bit um, zigzag, very very s small movement, a zigzag, you know, just horizontal uh, movement, a little horizontal movement between oh, yeah be, between the between oh. the sections. Okay. <coughs> Just a little, yeah. Little horizontal Z kind of movement yeah, between, like yeah, be yeah, between the sections. You uh, with a small paper when you do the straight. Uh, with straight uh, stock, you might you know rotate the paper, uh, but still you know it, it, it it's a little harder to do it uh, completely like a uh, straight oh, I lines. Like it a lot. I could do that. Help me do the stroke, actually. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that uh, they are all the same um, same technique. Calligraphy and painting are of the same origin in terms of. Uh, Brush and yeah. uh, the way of uh, using the brush. Okay, okay. yeah. So <coughs> a good stroke in calligraphy is also a good stroke in painting. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, uh, do, have you spent all the paper? Okay, I have to change paper. You can change paper too. Change paper too. Okay. Can I see your your paper, your your practice? Yeah, yeah just. Uh, yeah, I want it. I I think I should get a towel. Towel. Yeah, you need a paper towel. Go ahead. I I, I have one. Just, yeah. Let me put that down. Oh, you want you mean you want to put uh, the painting on a towel to dry? No, to paint. Oh, to paint. You just practice uh, practice on the towel. Oh, okay. I, I just put, use a book rack. <laughs> Here's the one that I just did. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah, just to, to try to keep uh, the uh, the stroke even. Yeah, the the one on this side on the side is okay. The beginning could be a little uh, stronger, more rounded. So you need to press at both ends and the uh, you know beginning and ending. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, we can we can um, keep that in mind when we go forward. Just move on. Okay. Um, let's see. I I thought yeah that one. So what is that one? Okay, let me explain to you. Um, okay, this this one. Um, uh, it's about the same. This is talking about uh, how to begin the stroke. It should be partial uh, stock. I mean, a lot of people start a whole section from uh, within the painting. You can do that, but you have to add this. Uh, have to add yeah, w okay. w this uh, suggested. Uh, so the the basic idea is you you need to suggest the uh, bamboo forest outside the frame. Right. Yeah, don't don't do everything within the frame. So that's the point. Um, right. Each this is a long description of uh, what uh, <coughs> the the uh, old bamboo manual talks about. You know, some strokes like uh, uh, hiding the the head of the strokes, like the, the silkworm head. I don't know if you're familiar with the silkworm, but just uh, you know, wrong, uh, the tip hidden or exposed, like. Uh, uh, the horse hoof. Uh, Just yeah, yeah some yeah. some metaphors of uh, describing yeah. this uh, beginning and ending, uh, like a hook to you know to end. Uh, the when we when we talk later, the branches would look like uh, the bird's feet and the uh, fish bone, 
that kind of thing. Uh, uh, yeah, don't worry about this Chinese. Most Chinese people cannot read this anymore because in classical Chinese, without punctuations, <laughs> or in one sentence, it's hard to read. Um, this site it talks about the broken. This is broken branch. You just have a sudden stop without a dot. That's a broken. But uh, yeah, you may have had this in, in, in unintentionally in your practice. But uh, you know, you you need to make a pass to 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 make a complete section between mm -hmm. you know. It, but if you if you just have a sudden stop, that's called broken, like a broken, yeah, broken. Okay, this part is so important. I want to go a little bit. Um, oh. So let's do this. Uh, it, uh, I I just put this back so I can add the uh, joints. You can practice the joints also. Yeah, on the previous page. I'm sorry to to go back. Okay, this is what uh, we do after the uh, dark. I mean the light toned uh, stroke. We use dark. You have to use. You can just uh, get a little darker to the tip. You have to load more with yeah. pure, pure yeah, ink. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you can do in two strokes, like a one dot. And then one uh, like a hook. Um, this is what they said. This is the middle one, on top in the book. Um, I think you cannot see this book. Let me just put it in here. So this one is I'm, I I try to do it here. It says it's like writing a Chinese uh, character heart, but uh, the hook is a little flat. I think it's not so banded. I think it's the the same kind of stroke though. Uh, you know, in the Chinese... Uh, you know, this paper is bleeding. Um, the same paper we're using, right? Okay, just use less... Is that the same paper with mine? Uh, am I using the wrong side? Do I use the shiny side? Shiny side, yeah, you use shiny side. And... Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, also you... Yeah, that's why. Okay. I'm using the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, always the shiny side. And also dry the pa dry the brush uh, heel with a towel, just l like this. Okay, dry the, the heel of the brush like that. Okay. So it will reduce the moisture there. So this is a the form and uh, the signify that you can just do um, in two dots. One on the left, but kicking to the right, and then kick back. So let me do it on this side so you can see. Okay, so you can the dot has a little the the end with a little um, kick. They're facing each other. This is what um, the book calls dragonfly eyes. Drag, dragonfly eyes, like like eyes of a dragonfly. Don't have to worry about the name, just, you know, they use this kind of uh, metaphor to help you, uh, just like a Tai Chi practice, you have all co poetic names for the forms, the movement, you know, that kind of, <coughs> we call it dragon dragonfly eye. This is another way of doing that joint. And uh, you can also have both sides hooking up, like a uh, oh, hook, um, hook one one up and one one down. Um, this this one is called uh, like a bird looking at uh, its uh, belly. <laughs> Birds looking at the belly. It's, that like like this, the little little beak, um, looking looking uh, back, right? Okay, or or uh, like a like a hook, like a gold, uh, silver hook. <laughs> Maybe the people wearing the belt with this kind of. 
Anyway. You won't use different ones in a painting. You use one. Yes or no? Oh, uh, good question. You use one style. You can use all the dots, uh, or you can, you know, have some combines. But don't just do two rounded dots without uh, communication. You, if you use dots, right. Um, right. yeah, I think it, that's a very good question. Normally, you'll see one style consistently on, uh, in the painting. So this style on the left is an example. So they use the, the, this kind of linear uh, instead of dots. Uh, this is more line you know, kind of um, style. Yeah. So I, I, would, I think you would develop a signature style, you know, uh, subconsciously. You know, whichever uh, you feel comfortable. So for me, I, I, I probably do two dots with a little, a little natural. Uh, so basically the two dots on left and right, uh, the connection will come naturally if, uh, as a line or uh, without a line, or, you know, just lift. So basically, I think the two communicative, uh, like uh, talking <laughs> to each other. Yeah. Two, two dots on the side. It's because the dots has to be a little uh, broader or wider than the, the joint. Is, is, uh, oh, I think I like that, yeah. It's thicker. I, so, I, can't get my, I can't get a light color. Light? Or you just add water. Too dark. You, it's good to do the joint in dark, so the, it's contrast. How do, I think, how do I get dark? You want to get dark or light? My brush. Too light. Yeah, I mean too dark. Too dark. You have to wash. You you just wash. Okay. You put you you. Okay. You you dry the brush on the towel and then uh, add water to 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 it. Yeah, I don't, I don't rinse the brush at, uh, during my painting. I use paper towel to dry it. And then just, uh, you know, you dry the, 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 the unused ink uh, and then just dip a little water without uh, adding ink. You'll get a light tone for the next uh, practice. Okay. Okay, let, let me turn the page. Okay, here's what you requested. The branches. The branches, right? Okay. Okay, the branches. Um, Okay, uh, just be patient. I'll talk about that okay. <laughs> next. <laughs> I'll keep your question in mind. Tri uh, right. Quick curve dogs. Actually, okay, quick question is uh, could be both. Um, some straight, some, some curved maybe. Okay. Um, so the, let me do a, tr a trunk to get stars. The trunk is straight, more straight, right? You can curve between uh, sections. Let me yeah. do, uh, the, so if you, uh, this is the, another starting point. At first we started from like uh, um, the low corner. Or lower uh, side on the left. So you, you start from outside, you know, just like, oh, this is too big. <laughs> I lost, uh, that, you know, I did a side stroke. That's way too, too wide. Anyway, let me just do it. I have to continue. <laughs> and this is a horse hood kind of begin, and then you can go outside. You don't have to uh, <clears throat> worry about the ending in this case. So this is the, the trunk, right? The branch. Um, let me do the illustration on, on this, uh, this corner first. <coughs> There's a name for them. 
you might, you might um, have the answer. It says, this branch here is called fishbone, like a big fish, the belly, yeah. fish belly bone, you know, there's a yeah. long, yeah. long uh, belly bones on the side of the fish belly, right? This, this is the, the, if I just do one, you know, you can start outside, but I just keep it inside in this case to show you. So this is the, you can use a stiff brush actually. It's better to use a, small, uh, a stiff brush because it's very hard to use this combination brush, the big brush. I will change the brush. Do you want to change to the stiff, the brown haired uh, whistle brush? A wolf hair, we call it wolf hair brush. The red one. Yeah, the red, brown, or red one. So you can load the brush with darker gray than the uh, trunk. If this is light gray, I use darker gray. Don't have to be black. Okay. The leaf would be black. So that's, that's the color for the uh, branch. And then um, you can add two lines on the side. Uh, on the left side, they curve, they do curve, I see. You start from, uh, this, you can start with a kind of, like your fishbone has this, uh, this joint thing, right? You, you have seen a fishbone? <laughs> one, one side is sharp, one side is, uh, what do you call that, little um, joint, right? Yeah. The, the, this, okay. Bone, yeah, bone head. We call it just call, we call it, in Chinese we call it the bone head, and then bone needle, right? So it's very important to have one shot. This is what. So Henry, Henry? Henry? Yes. They're, they're, I might lose you. They're working on the cable outside. Oh. They made the wrong cable. If I do, I'm not going to be able to get back on. Oh, okay. We can uh, maybe set, uh, set another yeah, time. I tell you. Yeah. It, it might be okay, though. We'll see. Okay. Let's just uh, take a chance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I'm going to repeat maybe a little bit here. You, so the first stroke is the it's like a man bone, and then the side bone, two stacking together like like so. It's hard to to keep uh, without a break, but uh, you have you have to do it uh, without uh, hesitation. So I have to use the swing movement, like use your wrist. Do you use your wrist or do you use your whole arm? Use the wrist. So I don't move my, my hand, I just use the wrist. So you get a, uh, if you naturally swing like that, you'll get a narrow ending, right? Because the press, the pressure in the, in the middle is, is heavier than you swing along with a little curve like that. Okay, let me do this group here. I, I, I'll use a little darker ink so you can see more clear. Okay. So, the straight maybe, then, uh, you know, some may have a little a dot ending, it's, it's all fine. And it looked like a, they have this, uh, uh, you know, some with a continued movement to one side. That like a, uh -huh. like a, some just you, sometimes you go the center one continuously, and then you do the side. You know, like you don't have to follow exactly, but you you have to keep the uh, angle consistent, like a forty-five, maybe thirty degree. 
35 yeah. degrees, something like that. So you, you kind of uh, um, like a pattern. <coughs> keep, keep that. I understand. Uh -huh. But one, long, one side short is it, it's good. Not a equilibrium, like a, you know, too, too uh, equal. But um, so you can have a straight, um, more straight stroke than a curve on the, uh, like the side. Um, so I will start with a straight, straight line, very powerful. And then here you can see something like a, even like a cursive style writing. You know, it goes very fast. So uh, you ha if you have the idea. You, you 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 go with that natural, um, yeah. just like you when you write fast, you know, something like, I cannot yeah. in mimic somebody's signature, but, uh, you know, if you practice in, enough, you, you're familiar with the, it, it becomes your natural, second natural, yeah. you just do yeah. it, uh, choo choo choo, <laughs> yeah, choo choo choo, one long shot, one, one long, one shot, or, you know, one, one straight, one curve, uh, yeah. I think there's always like two, two, two lines, and then one on the side. That's a kind of a basic uh, four. You have one straight. Okay, I think that group is like a, we call this a Chinese character. Uh, Don't worry, this is like a mustard uh, character. We, we. Uh, by this character, we suggest the, you know, any tree branch is like a horn of a deal, right? It goes like, like that. This is a upside down mustard character. This is the basic uh, structure of the branch of any tree. So here we uh, on the on the book we have example. Uh, it says, um, the branch should be, should, should be um, on both sides, but, uh, you know, with different weight, maybe. So one, one side maybe is too, uh, I don't know how to, how to uh, distinguish. But you may just alternate the two sides, right? You can you can do the the left side and the right side altern alternatively, not out on the same joint. But if you if you do on the uh, same side, maybe the one side is stronger. That that's what it says. It just says distinguish the two sides, but not make them mirrored. <laughs> that's basically the idea, I think my understanding, interpretation of the, the book. So you, you want to make one side maybe more um, uh, heavier or elaborated than the other side. I got it. Yeah. Okay. That's the... That's very helpful. Thank you. And just help you read the book. Oh, here we, we add the... We add this uh, joint. I can go, you know, one down, one up. It doesn't matter. Um, so my my challenge is also the branch. Um, if you you know do the branch first, you you have the option to cover it. If you know to cover the mistakes or you know um, or unwanted part with leaves. Um, Better, you know, you better just uh, maybe do the leaves first, and then you don't have to do the branches, uh, too much branches. That's a lot, a lot of people doing that um, as well. So, but it's good to show your um, structure. Um, you know, your, if you could do it well, you know, you can, you can make yeah. a make a good bamboo painting without the leaves, like this one. Uh, this is the autumn branch, you know, like. They're not falling, um, for like a, it's a kind of, um, but it, it gives you a feel of like a bolt, 
the tree kind of in the autumn. Um, Um, yeah, it says uh, the new new leaf between the turn of new leaf and the old leaf. This kind of branch. Let me let me show you a little bit maybe. <laughs> Incidentally, we have here another point. You can start off a branch. So you can start a bamboo branch from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight positions. Wow. All made center. Not not start from center. So this is the number six position. I numbered them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is this is number seven position. Uh, and then you make a diagonal towards the center, but it could be a little on the not exact the exit could also avoid uh, the center, the middle point. It's always good. So I will just go further. OK. This is too thick. I lost a little bit. And then I just cover that, maybe. So you, you can paint branches from outside in, also. So some, you do it from uh, uh, Inside out, right, and then you you can you can add this uh, little twigs from outside in. A little, yeah, just okay. like. Uh, um, again, I would. I would avoid the equal sides kind of. You can. You can make uh, maybe two on one side, and then one on two short and one long. That kind of uh, rhythm is also always good. Don't avoid the Y. Like if it's or you know, I think it's yeah. It's it's good to have a variation, not not a. Not yeah. Uh, this, yeah. yeah, the the Y. And you and can you make go anywhere on the. Uh, just the angle is more important. You can this is a this has a spread off, kind of uh, become wider on the outside, right? And you can start from uh, fuel and um, adjust. In the process of adjusting it, you, 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 you just keep adding more and more and more. <laughs> Don't overwork it. If you, if you think it, you know, it's enough, you can start at any point. You don't have to follow the example uh, here to complete every, uh, to, to copy, we call it copy the, the mind or the heart of the ancient uh, artist, but not their traces. You know, the idea is more important to copy. Um, so the basic idea is you should have some dance part, maybe some sparse, um, and just to add strokes where it should be uh, dance. So, and, and then uh, you, can, you can leave out. <coughs> and also there's a, yeah, there's a, like a, a little, little, um, Suggestion of a, uh, a few. This is a minor direction towards the. Oh, very good. Yeah, very good. So, with all the all the branches towards the left, you can have a little little um, minor uh, branch towards the the opposite direction, just like uh, indicated in the book. So, all the all the. Um, all the negative space is is taken into mm -hmm. the uh, consideration, right? It's occupied. So that that's the idea of the conversation. It's more dense near the the center stock and getting sparse. But yeah, also dense dense near the the secondary um, 
center, right? And then sparse. So that, that's very important. You, you keep most of the stroke near the, the center, near the center of the, the tree. Any question on the branches? I think you did a good. Um, you can use lighter ink when you actually paint it, because then you can cover it with dark leaves. If that, if you don't like it, you just you know try to cover it with leaves. Okay, yeah. I'm, I I I yeah. would. Great. <laughs> okay, another um, elements in the uh, bamboo painting is very important. The food we eat actually, maybe the pen will also love. This is the, the bamboo shoot, you know, the, the bamboo shoot, yeah. yeah. So you do it from uh, one side, like, you, you can start from the top and then uh, one left. Where you don't have to be uh, the same length, you can alternate like, like that. So it could be um, rounded, I think, from, uh, just like more natural, it's like dropped in, right? Like that. The, at the bottom, you, you drop it. In the, in the, on the top, it, it could be a little tip spread out. But at the bottom, it's a tighten. You can have thicker ones or narrow, narrower ones. This is the, um, the width of the bamboo stalk. Actually, they don't grow this way. So it could have a, a man, man stock, or a, a, a kid stock, <laughs> maybe a kid bamboo. They don't grow horizontally, they just grow uh, very fast. Uh, just like stock, we call it. You, you, you don't see it uh, for months, but uh, when, it, when the time comes, <laughs> it uh, goes very fast, very fast. The so bamboo is a good uh, symbol for uh, upward movement <laughs> or promotion, you know, in the past, uh, or a stock, fortune, <laughs> or something. So it's a good luck symbol. So bamboo shoot is a very uh, good symbol for potential, good luck, that kind of or promotion, like if you, uh -huh. if someone uh, getting a new job, get Good luck for, for them to get promoted. This is the, and then you, you add a little, little uh, what they call this, little t uh, tips. Oh. Yeah, with a dark, with dark, darker or darker ink. You can, you can even put some, uh, you know, some random um, dots, like uh, the stains or, or pattern uh, on the, on the leaf, on the skin. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, yeah. Notice the rhythm. Some you know more da dance on the uh, maybe uh, near the top, maybe something like that. Okay. Um, yeah. Here's mm -hmm. another thing. It's like the the whip of a bamboo. We call it the 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 root. Actually, it, it's also like a knotted uh, lines, uh, like, uh, like, you know, very short sections, but with a big uh, joint. This is the, the root of bamboo, <laughs> near the bottom of the, if you, if you paint the ground, you might need to do a li little. And uh, here on the side, the book mentioned uh, the new, uh, new growth, you know, the very, very uh, thin one in the spring, maybe. So, without uh, leaves yet, it, it's like the new bamboo shoot, new uh, sprouts, maybe, right? Sprouts. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can have one. Uh, they, 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 they also have joints. Uh, the skin uh, kind of falls and then leaf grow out from the section. So the the joint where is the leaf the branch come out. That's 
we, we don't do this much, uh, I think the bamboo, uh, bamboo shoots very common. We, when we do panda, we yeah. also do this. <clears throat> um, let's see what else we talk. Oh, the next will be the leaves. Yeah. So you're still okay with the connection? <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do a little uh, leaves. I do it. Uh, let's walk very quickly through the. You can change the paper. You don't have to copy the book. That I uh, I I I explain this book so you can. Um, I interpret for you. Okay, I, I'll use the large brush again. You can use the bottled ink just to save time to get easier. Just use pure ink. You can use a few bottle, uh, a few uh, drops of bottled ink. <clears throat> when you use the ink, you still wet your brush thoroughly first, right? Yeah, you you right. Otherwise, the brush is not a uh, spring. Uh, and then you you control the ink amount by doing this squeezing on the edge of the plate uh, or the palette and make it pointed. Make it pointed. Very. It... Oh, okay. All right. Now I'm going to do. Uh, um, it start from one leaf uh, with a stem with a stem. You can do the stem first, uh, just the, uh, the branch, like uh, one long, one short, and then uh, make a crossing leaf. Uh, this is a flying leaf. <laughs> okay, notice the beginning is uh, uh, pressed with a pulse, and then uh, about to after two thirds, stop moving your hand, just swing, swift at the end. Let me see how you're doing. There is a uh, turn back. Um, okay, let me, let, me re let me repeat this again here. You start from the top. You start from the top, goes down and kick up, and that like that, just like you're riding a character. So because of the the movement, you might have a connection between this little twig on the bottom with the leaf. That's okay. But if you break the, as long as the uh, chi come come connect, it's okay. So. Um, uh, for the leaf, uh, do it too slowly, so you can see it. So you go, before you go up, you go down first. Let me put this, trick, and then you go down like that. You go this direction. And then turn back. So you create that kind of uh, uh, bounce. If you just pull the brush this way, you don't have that spring. So you, 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 you have a quick um, movement to the left first before you go right or up. Go, go down, left first. So you look at here like that. So this, this part, this beginning part is, and then switch. I didn't get this. So this one. Let me, let me repeat 10 times. So I, I have to do the leaf and then you kind of, so this is a folding, like a, as if you did two um, folding strokes. Repeat the, you know, repeat a little bit. So this one, this part is is heavy, but don't get it to the point that it smears. Uh, 
that's one stroke. <laughs> you can um, do this one. We call it. Uh, um, okay, side. The, you can add a, a, a little uh, foreshortened leaf, like a, a little dot. This is this consider a, a leaf like uh, like this. You know, this is a. This is a leaf. Awesome. It could be like, just like one. Um, you stroke, and then just how do you say this? I got it. <laughs> got it. Okay. So you you can one long long leaf on the right, and then just the short one. <laughs> 